Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with Real Life Trading with another free Real Life Stock Review. I've got about over 20 tickers here, just about to start reviewing. I wanna try and get this done in less than 20 minutes. So here we go. Here's the SPY creating a very nice high wave candle bouncing off the 100 on the daily. If you take a look at the E-minis on the ES, you can see we are forming a very nice bullish candle and we are just about to break above the highs of 29.40. So bring on 3000. We look like we are definitely going to be going higher. I know back here I said that we are looking a little bit weak and we could have rolled over. However, the bulls have stepped in and we look to be going higher. Here's the Qs, QQQ, beautiful hammer candle straight off the 100. Looks like we're going higher. Dow Jones, ticker symbol DIA, uh, glorious doji candle. Resisting the 100, hoping for a nice gap up to tonight or tomorrow, sorry. And um, most likely we will just double bottom, retest and slowly grind higher. Here's the VIX. Now I spoke about this on this day here, saying that most likely if we were gonna roll over, we had to stay above the 200 here. We broke lower and we are slowly um, gonna come back down and most likely the market will continue to grind higher. So looks like the volatility is slowly escaping. We are getting a little bit more selling here. So this all looks good. Here's AMD. AMD was a beautiful buy straight off the 100 here. We did speak about AMD back here saying that most likely we will start to retrace. So if you guys did like, did catch this dip off the 100, well done. Another semiconductor, here's NVDA, NVIDIA. Uh, we are just coiling here. We did have a beautiful gap and go after earnings and we are gapping and going. It is just a matter of time guys until Nvidia starts to break out and start making some, um, start making its new climb. Um, so from here, if we can break above these dojis, probably just have your stop somewhere down here and uh, look to take NVIDIA higher. Definitely looks like a good long-term play if you are looking to play NVIDIA long-term. Here's AMAT Applied Materials and we are just coiling here guys, literally just coiling and we are currently at this nice support resistance level right here and we did have a very beautiful uh, trapping candle right here for all those bears that jumped on. But hey, here we are coiling. Most likely I would look to play an entry above $48 and a stop below here at around 46. So $2 stop, looks really, really good to go long on AMAT. And got a couple of requests um, from the last video. Here's VMware, VMW. Now, what's interesting about VMW is we did have a uh, bullish candle gapping down, which was a gap and go. Nice little selling pressure here, and we did gap and go for those for those two days. Um, in that, we also had a retest gap, and we are retesting, and we are also getting a little bit of selling pressure here. So, from here, most likely, um, I do expect VMware to go a little bit lower, probably about down to about one three five fourteen, and then I would look to buy the bounce. If you take a look at the weekly chart. Yeah, so weekly chart, we are at the 100, but uh, most likely come down to this solid support and that would be a very nice buying location. Here's ticker symbol CRM, Salesforce. Now this is just an absolute beast of a company. Um, very, good to, very good to hold long term. I did speak about this um, pretty much back here. Back here, uh, oh, sorry, back here, I did say that most likely we will chop around and you will get a chance to buy this thing low. Uh, if you had a look at the weekly chart, if you're following the weekly chart, you would have noticed the 100 simple moving average coming in and here was your buying location. We do have a very nice Morningstar-esque pattern here on the weekly chart and uh, we did have earnings, I, I believe we did have earnings after hours. If I just turn on the extended hours. Oh, there we are. We are gapping up. So here we are gapping up to 157, which is right about here. So this also is a gap and go. Probably not a lot of people trapped. If we did, if you are looking to play this as a day trade tomorrow, probably look to play it off the 100, wait for a short retest and then take uh, CRM higher. 
Here's Splunk, SPLK. Now SPLK right now did gap down over earnings and right now as we speak, uh, coming into a very nice little resistance back down here. Um, so 110 would be a very nice buying location. If I just turn on the, sorry, I turn on the weekly chart long term. Yeah, that, yeah, about 110 to 107 is about the, the area that I would look to buy. Um, it has bounced off the 100 before, and I think that most likely we are due for another bounce off the 100. Um, so keep your eyes on Splunk in the future for a bounce at 107.81. Um, and that's SPLK. Here's INTU into it. This is basically a company that you really want to be holding long term. Um, beautiful trend, has glorious pullbacks, great company. And right now, actually, they've got earnings. I think I think they had earnings after hours. If I just check, five minutes. Yes, we are gapping up. So another another brilliant company, guys. You really want to be looking to buy this as low as possible. The 100 simple moving average has been a very good time to start. You know, loading up on a position if you are looking to buy. Um, so realistically, your chance to buy in. INTU was right here. That's where you would have been wanting to look to buy. However, if you are looking for a day trade tomorrow, we do have a black candle gapping up and we are gapping uh, we are gapping up to one, uh, 290. So that is right about here. So we are that is a new all-time high and it is a beautiful gap and go. So expect this one probably to you know, continue higher. If it does have a pullback, a nice little dip buy off about 284 would be beautiful. Here's your laws, ticker symbol XAU. Now we did come back down to the 100, which is absolutely amazing. Starting to get a little bit more buying pressure coming in as the markets are starting to recover. Uh, so from here, most likely we'll start to trade higher. Here's ANZ, the banks. And if you are looking to buy shares long-term, uh, this is the level to buy. Uh, ANZ does look really, really good. We are at the 200 on the daily and on the weekly chart. We are still re resisting the 100 and 200 simple moving average. However, this is a very nice buy low, sell high location. Um, and the monthly chart, if you did want to go long term, super long term, and you're not, uh, you're not too convinced about buying right now, the, the 200 the 200 SMA on the monthly chart is a brilliant buying location. So that's ANZ, CBA, brilliant buying location right now. If you take a look at the daily chart, we did bounce off the 200 and we are heading up. So if you didn't catch this move here, probably look for a little bit more of a pullback. We probably will get a little bit of selling pressure as we come into the 100 on the daily. So just keep your eyes peeled on CBA. Here's Harvey Norman, ticker symbol HVN. Um, creating a beautiful evening star pattern right now. And realistically guys, this is probably where most of the profit, profit takers are gonna step in. We have, pulled, we have risen over about 15% in the last month. So most likely if you have bought shares down here, just look to take some profits off the table and buy the dip. If you are looking to buy the dip, I'll uh, just take a look at the short term moving averages. And I would be looking to buy the dip somewhere around the 50 day moving average as we have bounced off here before. So HVN um, look to take profits if you are in Harvey Norman, but all in all love the trend. Here's Kogan. And I just want to take a look at the weekly chart. Now I drew this. Um, I've still kept this uh, little Mr. Squiggles here drawn from all the way back here. That's when I drew it. Um, so, I did say that we would most likely have this pullback. So if you did get to buy off this location here, we have got this beautiful little S curve pattern off this double bottom. So from here, guys, I do think Kogan does go higher. Um, here's, here's Wise Tech Global and just creating a new all time high today. Again, um, this trend is super bullish guys. I know we did have a very decent pullback right here and pretty much it off the 50 was the time to start getting into some, uh, getting into some sort of position on 
Wise Tech Global. Right now, if you are in profit, um, well done. Just look to hold as long as you can, but obviously we are coming into a little bit of resistance, so expect some selling to come in. Let's take a look at some commodities, US oil or crude oil. Uh, we still have not broke above this wedge yet right here. If I take a look at the long-term moving averages, we are resisting the 200 a little bit. I do expect, um, I do expect oil to slowly break out of here and come higher. Um, it's just a matter of time of when that is going to happen. So keep your eyes on crude for a, a short, sharp play to the upside as we did have a beautiful pullback um, just over a couple of weeks ago. Here's gold. Gold seeing a little bit of pressure right now with the dollar moving higher um, and, and a little bit strong. So we are seeing a little bit of weakness. Turn on the weekly chart. We, yeah, so we did have a, we are getting a lot of selling, not, not very many wicks happening right now. So a little bit of selling. If you take a look at the monthly chart too, this, uh, my high here at 1549 has not quite been hit yet. So I do expect us to eventually trade up there, but obviously you will get a very nice dip buying opportunity um, on gold. And here's the dollar, the DXY, the dollar index, just looking very, very nice, very, very bullish. So stay long on the dollar. Speaking of dollars, here's the Aussie dollar, and we are slowly getting weaker and weaker, as I have have been expecting. There's a lot of absorption happening here, happening here, as you can see with this volume candle coming in right now. Uh, I do expect us to trade lower. So as all this absorption sort of weakens, um, we did get a lot of buying pressure coming in here, most likely from all these short sellers buying out of their position. But I do expect us to roll back down, probably about to about 65 and then uh, slowly um, trickle around down there. Here's the USD JPY. Now, this was one I actually missed, um, completely slipped out of my radar. But if you take a look on the hourly chart, actually, we'll take a look on the, oops, sorry. Sorry, you take a look on the hourly chart. If I just zoom in right here, we are forming an absolutely amazing little wedge here and we are just about to break out. So if you are looking to play uh, USD JPY long, look for the breakout. We are just about to break out now and look to buy the retest and take USD JPY higher. And last but not least, we got the GBP CAD. If you take a look at the daily chart, uh, we we did come straight back down to this massive support level. Huge, huge amount of buying coming in and a lot of absorption right here at uh, $1.59. So most likely um, we are getting a little bit of a nice, uh, a nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern here. So from here, guys, if you are looking to buy, just look to buy the dip. I'll go into the hourly chart. Look to buy the dip off the 100 on the daily, oh, sorry, on the one hour chart. It looks like a very nice buying location around 161. And uh, the trend is your friend until the end. Stick with it. All right, guys, that's, that's it for me. Done in 13 minutes, 13 minutes and 20 seconds. So hope you guys love this review. I'll be back next week with another real life stock review. I trust you guys are going to have an amazing weekend. I'm out of here. And remember, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.